Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you why I love this iRobot Roomba J7 Plus Combo. This has the self-emptying base, but it also has the mop attachment. And I really like the mop attachment because it stows itself, but when it wants to mop, it's going to move it around to the bottom and mop. Now I've got this kind of tucked away behind a chair and it, it works. I've been using this vacuum cleaner for over three months now and I absolutely love it. Even though it's a mop vacuum, I can put I can put the base unit on carpet because it stows the mop head and doesn't have to drag the mopping head over carpet to get to its base unit. So the base unit will empty out the vacuum cleaner. It does take a bag up here. It's very simple to change out the bag. You're going to lift this up. That's where the bag goes. This is the spare bag, and here's what the bags look like. So there's two things I really like about this robot. I love that it actually does a good job cleaning and that the interface is very good. It's got a very nice app. The apps, the uh, map is very easy to use and to edit. And I also think the, the map was very realistic. Okay, so here's what the base unit looks like. And here's where it's going to suck everything out. So there's a vacuum inside this base unit that's going to suck everything out of the vacuum cleaner. So if we turn the vacuum cleaner over here, we can see this is where it's all going to get sucked out of. There's a chamber inside here that holds all the dirt and debris while it's vacuuming. We've got these double uh, brusher rolls, which are very easy to, to change out and clean. we got got the sweeper here, the wheels, the charging connection right here. we got edge sensors right here. And then again, we got these arms. I'm going to show you how this works, the mopping pad. The mopping pad is very easy to install. It's Velcroed on there. And then you can just lift it up. It goes in a little track. You can wash these in the washing machine. Okay, so when it's got the mopping pad down, it's going to put the mopping pad right here. This is where the solution is going to come out. These three little nozzles right here. That's going to, It's going to put down solution right before the mopping head. Now, another feature that I love about this vacuum cleaner, it's got a camera on the front. So that when it sees an obstacle, it avoids it, but it also takes a picture of it and it sends you a notification saying, hey, is this an obstacle, a temporary one, or do I need to put a, a no-go zone here? Also has a bumper, so if it hits something, it will tell it to turn around. And we've got a big button on here with an LED light that kind of gives us different, tells us different things about the vacuum cleaner. So the vacuum cleaner is always going to dock itself in this position right here. This is going to be around back. And when it docks itself, it's, it's going to turn on that vacuum cleaner to do a self-empty. And there's what that self-empty sounds like. It is kind of loud, but I do think it does a good job. And then again, I just love this app. I put it on my Samsung phone, Samsung tablets, iPhone, iPads. It just works very well. Okay, so let's talk about the, the app. Again, I really do like it. It gives me the how much water I have in the, um, the vacuum cleaner. I'm going to show you we're going to put some solution in it. It shows me the status of the charge. Let's go to the map. Now you will have to do an exploratory run when you first get it. It's, it's very easy. And I do think it makes a very good representation of your house. Now, I've got a bunch, you'll see the red. Those are no-go zones. That's because I've been using this a long time. I've been using this about three months. And as it sees an obstacle, it'll ask me, do you want to add a go-no zone there? And I add one. Because right here we got some cords that are kind of around a table. And it would take a picture of those cords and say, is this a permanent? Or is this a temporary obstacle? And I would say permanent and it'd say, okay, let's add a uh, no-go zone there. But what I think is the best feature of this is it knows where the carpet and the linoleum or hardwood floor is. So you can see how this is kind of like fuzzy and this is clear. That's because that's the linoleum and hardwood floor and this is the carpet. It does it automatically. I absolutely love that feature. It knows where the carpet and hardwood floor is. Somehow the robot can sense that. And again, you'll want to go in and you'll want to add room dividers and you'll want to label the rooms. And then the next thing, so around your hardwood floor, so the kitchen's got linoleum that looks like hardwood floors or, or tile, but you're going to want to add these no mop zones. So I've found that it's better to add a no mop zone around a, um, a rug. It does a good job around the rug, but it's a little time consuming. So like we have a rug by this door here and it'll mop around it, but it's constantly lowering and raising that mop head. So I found just putting a no-go zone there for no mop zone, I mean, around that rug, it just, it kind of speeds up the process a little bit. And then here we are back to the main screen. Very easy, you can do an empty bin from here. 
You can do a vacuum everywhere. You can pick specific rooms under create a new job. We can say, okay, let's just clean the bedroom right now. I love the history function. So the history tells you how much time it's been cleaning, where and how. But also when you click on these events, so I click on this event and you kind of up upsize it a little bit. So see, here's where it took a picture. Now you can opt out of it taking pictures, but I do like this, this feature. See, it says it found eight obstacles when it cleaned this. And so you click on the picture, or no, you hit begin review, begin review. It's gonna bring up the picture. Yeah, that's a dog bowl. It's usually there. I can add a keep out zone. I can say there's no obstacle here, say there was nothing there, or I can say that's a temporary, I'm gonna say that's a temporary obstacle. These shoes, they were just left in the way. I'm gonna put temporary obstacle. Uh, there's really no, that's a cord. So that was a temporary obstacle. There was some dog toys. This is just a really neat feature, how it sees the dog toys, it avoids the dog toys. So I'll put temporary, again, another dog toy, temporary. Now this cord was up against the wall. I'm gonna put no obstacle here. Again, it found a toy right in the middle of the room, it took a picture of it, temporary, temporary, submit review. And again, during this, I could have clicked on add a keep out zone and it'll add a little box around that area and it won't vacuum that area anymore. And again, you can opt out of it contributing to the database. It does send those pictures up to the internet. And then under product health, it even tells us when it's time to change the sweeping brushes, the multi-roller brushes, and the high efficiency filter. Okay, so let's put some solution in the tank. You're gonna press this button over here. You can do this while it's docked. And then this will rotate out. We're gonna put our solution right here. Okay, so this is the solution I use. It's ready to use. The nice thing about it is it doesn't need diluted. So let's just open it up. Again, this, we're gonna fill it right here. You can take this off. And let's just pour a little bit in. Okay. Okay, so I've got the solution in there. Again, just kind of put that hook in first, rotate it until it snaps. Okay, so now when we look at the app, we can see that the that is full. That's the solution indicator right next to the battery. That's how much solution is in the tank. Okay, so I'm going to tell it we're going to do a, we're only going to do a couple specific rooms. Okay, so we're going to do just the living room. I can select this. I can tell that I just want to do, I don't want to do mopping on this because it doesn't have any mopping. And I can do one pass or two passes. I'm just going to do one pass. And then, so we're just going to do one room and I'm going to hit start now. So it does tell me that it is starting. Okay, so it just undocked itself and now it's going to go start cleaning. I think it's so cool how these things run through your house. Uh, they know exactly where they're at. They pinpoint right where they need to go. Now in this room, I put a dog toy and I also put some fake poop. So we're gonna see if it avoids this fake poop. Okay, so here you can see it's not super loud while it's vacuuming. Now I did put a no-go zone underneath my uh, couch. It did have some trouble underneath the couch back there. There was some stuff hanging down. All right, so let's throw some stuff on the ground, see how it does. Okay, looks like it got everything. Yeah, I threw a bunch of uh, coffee grounds on the carpet right there. Now it is avoiding that dog toy and it is gonna take a picture of it. So it does avoid it really good. You can see how it stops way short. Okay, so let's see how it does right here. Okay, so it is gonna sense the, the dog poop and turn around. Okay, so it's done vacuuming and now it's gonna to come to the base station. Now, when it's getting to the base station, you'll see the light on the front kind of go to three different brightnesses. It's kind of looking for that code underneath there. There, it does the light brightnesses again. It, it's very methodical in its docking. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's go back to the map. Let's check the history. Click this right here. Now it's saving the smart map. So you can't check the history right away. You gotta let it kind of upload what it found as far as the obstacles and different things. Once it finishes uploading, then you will see it down here under the history with today's date. Today is the 28th, so it's not the 22nd. Okay, so now I can see today. We, it shows you where it cleaned, and there's the, let's begin review. So yeah, there's where it saw the dog toy. And I can say, no, that's a temporary obstacle here. The drapes, that was a temporary obstacle. And there's where it found the dog poop. So it stayed way away from the dog poop. Just put temporary obstacle. It found that same cord. So I may want to put an add a keep out zone right there. Submit review. Okay, you can click on done. And then if we go back to the map, you can see where it cleaned. You can see where, see where the green is not. That's where that obstacle was. It avoided the poop and that toy right there. So let's click the three little dots. Update the smart map. Okay, so now let's use the mop feature of this vacuum. Let's clean the kitchen. The kitchen has linoleum. So let's create a new job. Let's just do the kitchen. If we click here, we can say we want vacuum and mop. I could just do vacuum. I want um, water level to be ultra. And we're just going to do one pass. Now let's go ahead and do two passes. And I just swipe that down. Then I put start. Now it gives me a time even how long it's going to take. Start now. Okay, so the vacuum is leaving its dock. It's not going to put the mop head down until it gets to the linoleum. Okay, so the first thing it's going to do, it's going to go vacuum the areas where you said it, it can't mop. So I put a no mop zone where this rug was. That's the first thing it's going to do. It's going to vacuum this no mop zone first. Okay, so once it's done uh, vacuuming, it's going to lower the mop head and start mopping. Okay, so it finds a spot on your floor and then it changes over to the vacuum or to the mopping head. It can be kind of hard to catch that. So it's going to vacuum and mop at the same time. Again, there's the mop head around the back. You can see it's putting down some water and some solution. I've got it on the, the highest setting, so the floor is a little bit wet, but it dries pretty quick. So now it's kind of going in a different pattern. It went this way for a little while. Now it's going this way. But you know, the floor does look a little bit cleaner. Now here's what the floor looks like just after a couple minutes. So it does dry relatively quick. And then there's what it looks like right after it's done mopping it. Okay, so when it's done, it puts the mop on top. And now it can go back to the base station and go across carpet. That's just a really neat feature that I like. Now it's, it's all done. It's returning to the dock. I like how it stores that mop head on top. Okay, so it's going to dock itself. It uses the light on the front to kind of look at that code up there. It'll do this several times, turning that light on and off at different levels to line itself up. Okay, so it emptied out the base. Now we can lift this up and see how it did. Yeah, it got dirty. So it did clean the floor. Again, this is super, super easy to take on and off. 
I'm just gonna lift the Velcro here and slide that on and off. I can throw this in the washing machine. They don't, um, when I put them in the washing machine, they don't shrink or anything. They come out the exact same size and they're not like disformed or anything. So they go on there really easy. Okay, so let's pop this open, just see how it did. We do have some water left over in there and some solution. I could fill it up. It looks like it cleaned everything out of here. Yeah, it did a really good job. Okay, so it's done with that vacuuming and mopping. Now we can see, we can see the water level did go down a little bit. Now let's see, let's do the history. So let's click on the history. We can see what it, cleaning complete. Click on this right here. No new obstacles to review. So if it, if it had taken pictures of some obstacles that it needed you to look at, it would say that there's some pictures and do a review. So I don't need to do a review on this one. And it even kind of shows where it mopped. So it shows that it mopped here. I, I stopped it early. Um, it shows that it vacuumed kind of in light green, and then the mopping is kind of like a dark green. Now earlier, this is I'm reviewing something earlier. And there you can see it mopped the, the whole kitchen. And then it, the light green is where it vacuums. So it vacuums my house. So I'm very happy with this robot vacuum that has a mop attachment. I like that I can kind of tuck it away into a corner on carpet so it doesn't have to be right on linoleum, but it will clean and mop linoleum. I'm just really happy with this. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.